Hello everyone and welcome to my draw my life tag. I was born on July 29th, 1997. Um, I was born to my mom and dad, Patricia and Glenn, and I have a big brother who was two and a half at the time, and then two years later, I got my little brother. When I was three years old, um, we moved from our old house that we were living in at the time. A church bought it. So we moved to the house that I am living in right now. And I don't remember much of it because I was only three years old. When I was five years old, it was time for me to start kindergarten. And that was kind of a fiasco because my mom wanted me to go to Britt David. But when I was five, I was a really, really crazy child. I did not respect authority at all. So after a week, they actually kicked me out of Britt David. And so instead, I went to Clubview Elementary and there they were very nice and accepting. And, um, my mom got me tested so that I could enter into St. Elmo and so I took a creativity test and I passed it very well. And so I got to go to St. Elmo for the years of when I was in elementary school and it was very fun and I learned all kinds of stuff and made all kinds of really great friends. Through um, my childhood I'd always wanted a dog because I saw everyone else and um, all my friends had dogs and I've always really wanted one and so one day my parents came up to me and my brothers and they said that we were getting a dog and I was so excited. Her name was Pokey and she was adorable. She had big, beautiful puppy eyes, and I just loved her so, so much. And, uh, a couple of years later, um, I was in my backyard, and this little cat came up. We gave her some milk, and she stayed with us forever. <laughs> and so, um, she was our second pet, and we named her Angel, and she was my kitty. All throughout elementary school, uh, I had some deep struggles because of my height. A lot of kids loved to make fun of me and bully me, and they didn't really understand why I was so small, and so they liked to make me feel alone because of it and so that was a really rough time for me because I didn't really feel accepted by others. But all that totally changed in middle school. In middle school I met all new people and they looked at me in a different way and instead of making fun of me for my height they would call me cute instead of weird and it was a really it was a great change for me at the age of five um, I struggled with my weight a lot um, um, but in seventh grade I finally decided to make a change and I worked out and ate healthy foods and then I finally lost 20 pounds and I was so so happy with myself. I had always wanted to go to New York City. That was just a dream of mine. I was like, oh, I want to go there. And so in eighth grade, my theater teacher decided that she was going to take all the eighth graders on a super fun New York trip. And we were really excited. I got to go on my first plane ride which was super fun and it was so awesome. And then later on in eighth grade, I made the decision to become a vegetarian. And so to this day I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat meat anymore. And that is a very big deal.
And then I started high school, which was a very big transition for me, and it was a very big deal in my life. Um, and freshman year was a really stressful year. I didn't have a whole lot of friends. But um, all of that changed. Um, by the second semester, I met the person who is still my best friend today, and she really opened up to me, and that's very important to me. And then in my sophomore year, I got braces, and I was not very happy about that. I really hated every minute I had braces, and I was so excited to get them off. And then a few months later, my cat passed away. And that was really rough. Um, that was the first pet that I ever had that died, and I miss her a lot. So rest in peace, Angel. And then a few months later, my big brother was going to college in Chicago, and so we went up there to say goodbye to him. And it was really fun. Um, the city is absolutely beautiful, and I fell in love with Chicago. And yeah. And then a few months later, my dog passed away, and that was really hard. She just got very sick, and so we had to put her down. And I miss her a whole lot. So rest in peace, Pokey. But on a brighter note, um, the theater program here at Hardaway won the original competition for one act and it was a very big deal and I was so happy and I cried and that was easily one of the best days of my life. And another great day was the day that I got my braces off. That was amazing and I felt so much more confident ever since then. And then that finally leads us to right now. Right now I am a junior in high school, go class of 2015. Um, I am a school actor because I act in the school shows and I love to sing. It's one of my favorite things to do and I also hope to get money for college because that'd be great. Of course. And now it goes to the future. And as far as the future goes, I know that I definitely want to do something with theater. And I say I want to be an actor, but I'm not really sure if I want to get to acting or maybe makeup or maybe teaching like my mom or maybe even directing because I enjoy all of those things. But there are two things that I absolutely know for sure I want to do. Um, I definitely want to graduate high school and college without a doubt and I also hope to find love and start a family one day. That's extremely extremely important to me and that's the end of my Draw My Life tag. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!